welcome back to Balance Me, the web series. Got a special guest today, Joel Cummins from Humphreys McGee. How's it going? Also in Balance Me. Joel, how are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Good to be here. Thanks for, thanks for bringing me. We're in St. Louis right now. Joel's getting ready to play a show. And it's been about a year since we sat down and did the first interview for Balance Me. It has, almost exactly. It feels like a lifetime for me. I'm not gonna, I really, it's been a lot. Um, but yeah, that was fun. You know, I, I have been doing a lot of reflecting on this last year and especially your involvement in the book. And first off, thanks for that. You're welcome, my pleasure. Um, and not to uh, poke fun at the other interviews, Joel won most popular conversation in the book. <laughs> um, but I really, I, I think that when I look back at Balance Me, which has done well, and I think about that interview, you were a catalyst for me. I was, hadn't really written much at that point, and I was still honestly pretty insecure about publishing it. I remember even thinking, I was like, I'm gonna tell Joel I'm gonna write this book, and he's gonna be like, why would you wanna do that? <laughs> but it was the exact opposite. I remember how excited you were and how passionate you were for it. So what are your thoughts on any of it, looking back at everything a year later? Well, I think, uh, you know, it, the, the idea of balance being really got me thinking about what are the types of things that I do on a daily basis um, to keep my life as consistent as possible um, and sort of what those changes are between being on the road touring and, and being at home um, and, and how to go back and forth between those two lives. And, I you know, I'd never really articulated a lot about it before, but kind of in thinking about it, I think I discovered um, that there were there were a lot of things that I did try to do to, uh, to try to keep that consistency going. Has anything changed in the last year? Have you evolved that process anymore? Or like if you had to put something else in the book, would you add a new anything? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, too much of the process has changed. Really, the, the last year has been uh, more the same for me. I think, you know, if anything, there are sometimes complicating life factors that come up where, you know, people that are important in your life are going through changes. And, um, you know, I, I had a few times this year where I, I felt like I was, uh, I was trying to be, you know, a better friend or a better, or a better son or a better husband and maybe focusing a little more on certain aspects of that. And, you know, there's a little bit of an ebb and flow between, uh, um, you know, putting, putting yourself out there for other people and then also trying to take care of yourself at the same time. So I think it's, it's still a, a, a daily evolving uh, sure. challenge. Yeah, and it has, so since your involvement in the book, have, has anything from the book, uh, did that help with any of it? Um, yeah, again, I think just kind of putting out there, putting it into words and, and um, and really thinking harder about you know what are the what are the essential things that I need to do every day and what are the things that I can shed and do without. Um, I think any sort of self reflection like that is gonna is gonna lend itself toward uh, toward constant learning. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't you know I don't again I don't think too much has changed. I think it's uh, just still going through every day and and kind of treating it like its own thing and and figuring out what it is that you know your, your body is asking for that day, what it is that you need to do to challenge your mind that day. Yeah. I, I remember having asked you, I, I said, Joel is one of the most, is one of the most well-adjusted musicians I've ever known, and I've known quite a few, so congratulations on that. We also <laughs> had a couple people uh, um, com call your wisdom Yoda-esque. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, that was interesting. I, I think one of the things that I found the most interesting about Balance Me is I got a lot of interesting feedback about it. And I had a few people that really seemed to be moved by it. And I don't want you to mention who or anything like that, but you had uh, experience with that as well, didn't you? Pass it around to a couple of different people. Absolutely, or, absolutely. Yeah. And um, I think that, that felt good for me. I, that was kind of the intention, and when you shared that with me too, it was yeah, like, wow, that, that's awesome. Well, I think there's um, there's something to be said for when you feel like it can make a difference to someone um, in your life on a personal basis. Um, that really, I don't know. I think that kind of that kind of speaks 
the most highly about everything. I mean, I shared it with everyone from, uh, you know, my bandmates to my mom mm -hmm. to some other friends of mine that I had and uh, that, that I thought m might find parts of it useful. And um, so, you know, I think that's so much of uh, really what life is about is just kind of finding out what these life hacks are for us to, yeah. to, make, our, to make our lives better and to make our lives easier and to try to, uh, try to help and coach each other through that. Sure. And that, you know, that's really been enjoyable. You know, I've, I've, I've known you for 10 or 12 years now, yeah. and you've been very consistent along the way. One thing I've enjoyed with the other people that participate in the book, I've got to be friends with them and know them on a different level. It was almost like um, adopting new members into my family or something. I don't know, there was something uh, <laughs> interesting about the, you know, the whole process of writing a book and then sharing other people's thoughts along with yours. And, you know, it, not, I did a lot of conversations and everybody got in. So, yeah, and uh, it is what it is. So, well, I, you know, some of the other things that were kind of notable, you know, we, I, I did a speech down in Tampa and we distributed almost 500 copies. And uh, a lot of them are probably on, on sale on eBay right now for a <laughs> discount. So, uh, you know, that happens. But, um, well, anyway, I just wanted to take a brief little stop. And, you know, we're here and we've been talking about a lot of different stuff. and. You know, the Balance Me web series has been going on. I get anywhere from uh, 20 views to hun a couple hundred, and it uh, depends on the topic, but I'm planning on going section by section, bit by bit through the book. So I'm going to probably have to track down the other people that we had conversations with. Good luck with you, that. You, you know where to find me. It's a little bit easier. Well, yeah, yeah. I can, <laughs> you can buy tickets or, you know, do other stuff. Well, Everybody, I hope that uh, you enjoyed our time here with Joel, and uh, let's not make it another year before we do another book. It sounds like a plan. See ya. See you out there on the road. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Right?